Hey everyone, welcome back to complete Laravel e-commerce project tutorial series. In last video, we show you how you can create a subcategory from our create page and also how we can show them in the manage page. Today, our work going to be adding functionality of edit and delete in subcategory. So the subcategory things will be done and then we will move into the attribute section okay so yeah let's do it very simple i'm going to do it pretty fast way and uh, for that reason what i'm going to do i'm going to just copy paste and make changes on the code which i wrote for our category okay so let's do it fine server is running and you can see here in our master category controller we have three different route one is responsible for showing the category individual category on the page where we're going to edit it then another is responsible for updating the category and another is for deleting the category so these three route we need we're just going to copy them from here and then paste it just below so if you missed out our category edit delete i recommend you to go and check those video because we're just going to do the same thing here just changing some line of code okay so yeah here i'm going to put sub category instead of category and show sub category name going to be as oil show sub category then subcategory update update subcategory and update subcategory then subcategory delete delete subcategory and delete subcategory next work is very simple we will go to master category controller file and here we have show update and delete cat function we just going to copy them go to our master subcategory controller file paste them here and change the name from show cat to show sub cat then update cat to update sub cat and then delete cat to delete sub cat then here we're going to find out our subcategory info which is from subcategory model finder fill id okay return view admin category edit not category edit it's going to be admin subcategory edit and we want to pass information subcategory info and here as well update subcategory okay for this we're just going to copy the code in the stored subcategory we're just going to copy them from here validate data okay and it's going to be subcategory subcategory model we need to use here find or fail subcategory okay lastly all i have to do is we have to pass here subcategory update validate data okay and pass here subcategory updated successfully finally using here subcategory model add delete subcategory okay and generate subcategory deleted successfully now what we need to do we need to go to resource then view then category we have edit category dot blade dot pc file we're going to copy this one and paste it inside subcategory file edit play dot blade dot psp here we're going to change the name from edit category to edit subcategory okay edit subcategory <coughs> then here update subcategory then subcategory info okay method subcategory name 
Okay, give the name of your subcategory. <coughs> then here subcategory name, subcategory info, then subcategory name, update subcategory. And finally, we will go to edit, not edit, manage category.php file and whatever in this section in the action we have a td we're going to copy this okay it should be end of the td right right okay we're going to copy this one go back to our manage subcategory.php file instead of this one we're going to place that whatever we copied and the route going to be show subcategory and here going to be subcategory id so subcat id okay then delete subcategory so delete subcategory here going to be also subcat id we need to pass then csr token method delete okay value delete everything is okay next next uh, yeah let's check and see what we missed okay so refresh the page and see so yeah in subcategory we have edit and delete functionality or button available right now if i click on edit let's say what it's taking us okay so here a error internal server error view admin subcategory did not found okay let me see in master subcategory controller file the name should be inside admin folder we have another folder called sub then category like this okay subcategory dot edit it should work right now so we have a wrong name of the folder here that's why it was an error let's check it again and see either it give us any error or not okay no error right now okay we are editing successfully let's change this from apple to um, hp okay let's see okay validation working perfectly but here saying the category id field is required okay fine perfect perfect okay we have another issue in edit subcategory we will need another field which is uh, we have to pass the subcategory category id right category id of that subcategory when we are editing that or if we don't want to give them a option to edit the primary category of that subcategory then we have to make change on master subcategory file here we don't need the category id when we are updating any category subcategory information we are just giving them opportunity to update the subcategory name not where it belongs to like in, in which category it belongs okay fine refresh the page again <coughs> okay now let's change this to lenovo okay subcategory updated successfully so we change from apple to lenovo and it's working nice now let's see either delete working or not i'm deleting this category subcategory yes it's deleting successfully so yeah just making few simple changes in our previous course which we write for our category file or category functionality we able to achieve the subcategory edit and delete okay that's perfect next we will move to attribute we will um, create the what you can say like 
create read update delete functionality for attribute as well let's check our db diagram and see what we need in attribute so yeah db diagram is loading and let's check out pro uh, product attribute okay product attribute they will have relationship with product review product okay so yeah product attribute they will have two relationship between product review and product so product attribute will have id then product id then attribute name attribute value then also created at updated at okay from admin panel we will give attribute not in this form from admin panel we will set up some attribute like um, some sizes of the product it could be l m xl double xl okay and then small okay so whatever the product attribute can we will create them from our admin panel so in admin panel uh, the attribute uh, table will have a id then attribute name and value that's going to be in the table uh, attribute table for admin panel and that's going to be another like another table product attribute uh, which will going to be connected with our product in future okay when we create a product uh, th that table will get some value okay so that's going to be two different table one is for default attribute which we're going to set up from admin panel and another is going to be for product attribute which is which will going to get the value when we create any product okay and that table will follow this structure okay so for now let's yeah create something uh we are opening our terminal then php artisan make model we want to create default attribute model with a migration file so here admin will add some default attribute for the products which may possibly will be listed on this e-commerce platform can use okay and then uh, that's going to be another table which is product attribute which will get the value each and every time a vendor create a new product okay fine perfect now i am going to the migration file okay here we will have the few simple value one is id and then another is attribute value this is going to be string attribute value that's it it cannot be null so yeah that's all i need I'm going to migrate it. And it will migrate this table in our database. Let me see our database. And now we will have to do like create read update delete functionality as same as for this attribute default attribute table okay and this should be very easy to do in our next video in one single video we will do them thank you so much for watching i will continue from here in next video